Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and thank you so much for dropping by today. It is Wednesday the 24th of March and this is another 30,000 steps a day for 30 days challenge. Right now I'm on Palm Avenue, just walking up towards Central Drive alongside Revo Park as you can see and I'm going to give you a look at my pedometer so far if you can see it's very bright can you see that I think you'll be able to 5622 done so far so I haven't really moved much this morning let me just turn off my phone not turn it off you know what I mean just put my phone away so now hopefully I'm going to get a big chunk off day steps done because yesterday was kind of a stressful day and I struggled to get them all done by the end of the day I did it but it wasn't easy and a few of you have asked me for update on the washing machine saga I can't remember where I actually left off in that weary rant yesterday but after my partner took out the packing bolt, what the Chugger Brothers left in, when they installed it, the machine did appear to work okay. And we did a machine full of washing. Curris did message me this morning, actual person, not a bot, and within an actual employee did message me. And they were really nice and polite, and they said they had no problems, they would take away and replace the machine if I wanted or I could keep it if it was working properly and I elected to keep it I said well it's working properly right now so I will keep it but I did reiterate I said should any problems related to this or any other instance come up in the future I want to be assured that my warranty is fully intact and my statutory rights are not affected and they did say that when they messaged me back they said that my warranty was indeed still intact and any problems would be sorted out swiftly should they arise and they also said that they would refund me for the installation charge. I am still waiting on that refund so I will let you know how that goes and if I get it or not. The road I'm turning down now is Saffle Road. I just crossed the road and meanders a bit because I don't know if you could hear it on the video but somebody was walking really close up behind me and just hacking and coughing their guts up and I was like, uh, rather not have somebody walking up behind me doing that so I crossed over and they crossed the same time as I did so I just turned around here <laughs> little TV stand there so anyway we're going to get to walk down a different road. It's a quiet residential street, Savile Road. The next street from this that just is parallel to this one, a little bit closer to the prom, St Helius Road. I got my first flat on St Helius Road years ago when I was younger and I first moved out from home and it was a really really crappy little dump it was a tight you can't really say it was a flat it was a bed sit really in fact a bed sit describing it as a bed sit is a bit overly generous as well if you imagine a tiny loft just the tiniest tiniest loft ever that's barely enough big enough to be a double bedroom that has the slopey ceilings, no dormer, like a roof and then chop that tiny loft in two down the middle and that's what 
my first flat up St Telia's Road was like it was half a tiny tiny bed sit and there was no sink in the room all the other rooms in the house had a sink inside but the two little loft rooms because this teeny loft was chopped into two there was one sink outside for both rooms on the landing so I had to share the sink with the old dude next door and he was I mean he was just a typical quiet old dude he didn't cause any problems or anything except he would just leave his pants soaking in the sink all the time and I did find it mildly annoying although I never said anything because apparently I'd been living there a few years so I thought I felt a bit bad about suddenly moving in as a teenager and saying oi stop leaving your pants in the sink dude but it was so great just to not have to live at home well I should say it was so great not to have to live at my mum's but yeah my first flat was on St Helius Road that was my first taste of freedom and after I moved out of there I moved down to London for a couple of years and when I first moved to London I lived in Crouch End for a bit which was really nice it's like a little village back then I don't know what it's like now but it was a lovely little place to live and then I moved from there into West Finchley and we rented a house with well I rented a house with two other friends from work a three bedroomed house and it was a super beautiful posh house and we got it really really cheap because the dude who was renting it out was another workmate and he just bought the house with another workmate these two guys had bought the house together and they wanted to rent it to reliable tenants and they pretty much just charged what the mortgage repayment would be plus a little bit extra so we got the house super cheap and when they bought the house I didn't find this out till afterwards so a long time afterwards they'd got the house fairly cheap as well and I'm like seems strange this house is going really cheap and they had trouble renting it out and it's a beautiful house turned out there was a a murder committed in there a couple of years previous which I knew nothing about because I've told some more people who I work with because I used to work on the London Underground and I was just chattering to some people who I work with and I went oh I've got a new house it's great it's on Howcroft Crescent and they were like is it number whatever and I was like yeah and they all looked at me and was like oh you're moving into the murder house then and guess which bedroom I had hmm yeah that one but anyhow I don't even know how I got onto that subject then I'm actually on St Helius Road now I'm not going to say which house I used to live in because I don't want to go as far as giving that much personal information out but yeah I did used to live down here and I enjoyed it even though I didn't have much I didn't have any space or any possessions it was just nice to have that bit of freedom you know just being on your own if you wonder why I keep crossing over I'm just trying to avoid people and I see somebody walking towards me I'm just crossing over onto the side to come out of St Helius Road on Waterloo Road so I am going to turn down Waterloo Road I'm going to walk back down towards Spain Corner because I'm going back down to the Empire to see if they've started any of the demolition yet I really don't think they will have but we can take a look and just see which you never know Here we go I am gonna finish this video now although there will be a little add on as usual with the end of day steps total on so with the magic of editing I will see you right now with 
the end of day total. So there you go. See you in a second. Hello everybody, it's the end of day four of my 30,000 steps a day for 30 days challenge. And there you can see today's total, 32,026 steps. That's 12.64 miles, 911 calories and 4 hours and 39 minutes of activity. Let's take a look and see what Fitbit says. Fitbit says 31,800 steps and 13.25 miles, 2,340 calories and 202 minutes of activity. And that's how long I slept last night. So last night I got a bit of decent sleep. Not bad. Let's go back on to the, the pedometer. There we go. So thank you for watching my challenge videos. And I promise I will do my very best to complete the whole challenge. And I'll see you again same time tomorrow. Goodbye.